Have you ever wanted to ride a motorcycle around Paris? Maybe have that dream of like getting picked up by someone beautiful on a Vespa and whisked around the city to see the sights with no obstructions. I have a solution for you for this. And you might be like, wow, that's scary. Paris is infamous for its horrible traffic. I also have a solution for that. You don't have to do anything. You just have to sit back, relax, take some photos, have a good time. But in the spirit of full disclosure, I'll let you know how I got a little bit more comfortable riding motorcycles and insanity in exchange for telling you how you can do it here in Paris. And if you stick around to the end of the video, because you probably missed this the other day, because I know a lot of you missed it, there will be a giveaway. Again, it's the season of giveaways, the spring season of super sweet giveaways. I don't even have scooter solutions to this. Like, you could rent this scooter with an app if you had a European driver's license. Unfortunately, American driver's licenses won't work. And a number of you are probably thinking like, that's still too scary. I want the experience, but I want to sit back here. Not here. Here, not here. I could do you one better. What about sitting here? A brief history of Jay and motorcycles. I don't have a photo of the first motorcycle I technically learned on in the States, but I did crash it during my motorcycle test to get it. Uh, yeah, that wasn't great. Uh, this is my first motorcycle ever owned in Togo. That's me pretending to be Daft Punk. That's my motorcycle in the Congo. If La Pacha's still there, it's the place to go get a shawarma. This is me getting my actual license years later. This was my introduction to uh, real motorcycle life. This is Freetown, and this is, this is where I started taking motorcycle taxis, Okadas, back in the day. As you can tell, there's not a lot of room to navigate. So you get kind of used to being at least a little bit crowded. It's really fun to see this footage. I basically learned how to drive in that school of fish configuration while also um, crashing it more than once. You're starting to understand why for me, traffic in Paris is no big deal. Like it doesn't stress me out. So I recognize that we might not be on the same page for this situation, but fortunately, there's a way to get comfortable riding around in Paris with none of the work and none of the crashing your motorcycle in Africa. You don't, have to, you don't have to take the hardest route like I always do. I found an easier and really fun way to do this where you don't have to do anything but sit and enjoy the ride. You know, check out the sights as you go. All we need to do is get to the Eiffel Tower side of the famous Birkin Bridge and we'll meet him on the far end. Meet who? I didn't tell you who we're meeting. I'm here early, but this is where you're gonna meet them if you happen to come on a tour with Chango Tours. I'll introduce it to Simon here in a moment, but this is what happens when you leave the house without the dog. You end up like not only on time, but early. Ah, here they are. Wow, look at these jackets. I love this. Hey, hey how are you doing? I'm doing good. I just was saying I was here early and then everybody showed up all at once. Now, while I might be one that prefers to drive the motorcycle, like I love riding bikes and I love riding through Paris. You might not be as crazy as me. And granted, again, I come from a pedigree of um, insane motorcycle lessons. But even if you do like riding your own bike, this is a really fun way to get kind of the best of both worlds. And to be fair, you can't safely take photos of the sights as you go by when you're riding your own bike. Just hop on the back of one of these guys. We'll see if Simon will let me drive. We can ask him. Can I drive? You want to drive? <laughs> no. Ah. Absolutely. I will. We'll tend to this. We'll wear the helmet. And yeah, I've done this. I'm gonna, I think I have done this like four times now. It's fun. I look cool. I look super. So for the hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh yeah, it's nice and tight, nice and snug. Are you sure I can't <laughs> Okay, now I want to start a Paris motorcycle gang. <laughs> it's a very good idea. Can we get jacket? I love it. What do you think? It's amazing. I said, as an avid scooter rider in Paris, is this actually fun? Yeah, it is super fun because it's so much closer to the ground. You feel like you're in a go kart. It's super fun. It's got to give you a red shell and you'll be set. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I don't know if we're gonna be able to get a shot from like in there. No, that's what I was gonna try to do. I'm gonna, I'm waiting for a break here, ish in traffic. Okay, this is only slightly dangerous to be out in the middle of traffic like this. Highly unrecommended, but we got the shot. Done. Uh, splendid, yeah. darling. You know you're in good hands when it's like, we gotta get out of here before the cops get us. Yeah! I mean, it's not a motorcycle ride around Paris unless you, you know, break a rule or two, right? I've never been so relaxed going around the Arc de Triomphe because normally it's mental. If you have a bike, a scooter, a car, it's, and now it's like, my life is in his hands. Oh, Jean, easy. That's a good one, though, too. Soon enough, you actually won't be allowed to do this, will you? Because this whole square is going to get blocked off during the Olympics. Yeah, we won't be able no, to do this. No, but I think they're not giving it back. I think it's permanent. Oh, that tire. Hey! <laughs> That's great. It's like a well oiled machine. <laughs> you hear like a history bump? Honestly, there are worse ways to get around town. I can think of plenty. Okay, so the way that we're gonna do this is, um, if, you're, if you're lucky enough to be on a tour where Simon's sunglasses explode, that was the most exciting part of this trip. <laughs> if you'd like to go on a tour with Chango Tours, obviously use my link below, book right away. It's a ton of fun, everybody's having a great time. And Simon and his crew, all these guys are amazing. So just because you don't get Thank Simon you. on a tour, doesn't mean that you aren't gonna have a phenomenal time. Mm -hmm. So he's been generous enough to toss in a tour for two as a giveaway. To anybody watching this right now, the way that you do it, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Hop over to Instagram. We're gonna post a collaborative reel. Go find that reel on like my account, like it, and then make sure you follow both of us and tag the person that you want to bring along in your sidecar. One lucky person is going to win a tour for two when they come here to Paris. We'll pick them in 48 hours, so you got to get on this right now. Come on a tour with Simon Chango Tours, and you're going to have a grand old time while you're here in Paris. Name whoever you want to be in your bucket. You'll be behind the driver, and you get a person of your choice. And they in the have to come. So if you choose a celebrity, whoever it is, they clearly they're obligated to show up. <laughs> Joshua, you're so cozy in here with your blanket. Oh, my blanket. I should have a nice like thermos of tea to be really British. You know, like, I think we should probably get moving before we catch chill, don't you think?